Hello again everyone. Just making another video because a uh, slight update with uh, the TV licensing situation. And uh, I had another letter through from those lovely people who harass you at your door. This one's, um, well it's interesting because there seemed to be a bit of arse about face while you're doing things. They, well just to update those of you that haven't watched any of my videos, I'm doing a bit of a documentary style um, videos, set of videos on what happens if you don't pay your TV license basically. Now there's, there's plenty of videos out there. Um, one uh, person in particular, TJOK, has uh, given a lot of information on YouTube and, and actually was one of the first people that I watched videos on and um, got an idea about what's really going on with the TV licensing and what a scam it is etc. I mean I'm not telling most of you anything you don't know already. Um, if I'm lucky then I'm, I'm giving somebody who isn't aware a piece of information to stop paying the TV license as well. Um, but anyway, this one is a little bit more threatening. As you can see, the, the red lines on the outside, obviously color red, indicate anger, danger, warning, all of those sorts of feelings that it uh, stirs up inside us humans without us even realizing it. But anyway, the situation was is that I moved address, well, a couple of months ago now. Before I left my last address, I well, I didn't even cancel the TV license. What I did is just stop my direct debit after watching a few videos and making my own decisions, doing my own research. And within about oh, three weeks, I got a refund of £42.08, and pence, I think it was. Um, didn't ask for it, didn't realise I was entitled to it. I just thought that you pay it by monthly month, a direct debit, and each month you pay is each month that you've, you, know, you need your licence for. But it appears not. It appears they stockpile some of the money that you pay them. And it's, um, it's in, a, in arrears type thing. Uh, sorry, not in arrears, the other way around. But anyway, I got a refund from them, which was nice. Yep, check, straight into the bank. I paid, it cleared. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Now I've uh, moved into another address and within... Uh, a couple of weeks to a month I got a visit from a, a lady which uh, I've put that video on YouTube already and um, well, you know, she wasn't too bad but uh, you could see the intentions were there and uh, changed her attitude as soon as I filmed then I got a letter through a couple of weeks later to another month later um, which I also detailed on uh, another video and uh, now is I don't know a couple of weeks later and there's another letter come through now as I'm sure you've seen while I've been nattering on this says a priority visit is being scheduled for this address please respond within seven days of getting this letter and um, as I say it seems to be asked about face it was uh, cancelled direct debit refund uh, visit to the door letter and now another letter saying I'm getting another visit to the door I don't know what they think they're going to get more this time than they got last time but suffice to say it'll be filmed again and I'm really looking forward to it actually it's it's uh, it's amazing once you enlighten yourself as to the little power that they have or no power that they have it actually becomes a fun event uh, reading these letters just for your own amusement purposes it's really how they word things and the threat and the fear that they try and instill into you by the way they, they put things across inquiry officer may visit your property if you're found you could be prosecuted and fined up to that's the interesting bit up to have a little look into TJOK's videos about actually what the average fine is if you're stupid enough to let them in or um, not clued in enough to stop them coming in and uh, sign a piece of paper then it's nowhere near that fine anyway to avoid the visit, I would not want to avoid the visit, so I won't be buying a TV license. It's um, not going to happen. <laughs> you can try all you like, uh, all the different ways that I can get in contact with them to pay them £145.50. pence. <gasps> I mean, it's not a lot of money. You know, I'm not saying I can't afford it. I'm not saying <laughs> I wouldn't pay it if I needed one. I don't I don't advocate uh, watching TV without a license. If that's the law of the land, whichever way you, your slant on it is, you know, listen to the Freeman on the land status and you can make your own decisions. But at the end of the day, whether it's law or not, if I was watching TV and I needed one, yeah, I'd buy one. You know, I'm not one to try and buck the system. But what I am doing is making a stand when I don't need one, told you I don't need one, um, 
and uh, I'm not just going to pay one for the sake of it, you know. So if you don't need a TV license, we'd like to stop writing to you. Well, that is a crock of shit, because I've already told you on the doorstep. Please let us know at TV licensing. Yeah, that 0300 number is not free. You know, you've got to spend your own money to ring them up to tell them you don't want their services. That's just ridiculous. There he is, Mr. Paul Willis again. Whether he's actually a real person or not, I severely doubt it, but, I mean, that's regardless. Anyway, um, what else we got? Uh, sorry, I've cut all the bits of information out so you can't read it properly, unfortunately, but you get the idea. They're all pretty much the same anyway. What to do if you don't need a licence? That's the... Sorry, I don't know why that's blurring. Uh, we'd like to stop writing to you if you don't need a licence. Yeah, so blah, 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 same thing. Could you get a concession? Yeah, I've read that. That's a joke. Actually, uh, what I might do is just to pee them off. Is start going down that route. Asking for it in a different format, Braille. Uh, <laughs> or get them to ring me and say every piece of information that they uh, have to say or is, is stated on every letter over the phone because I can't read or <laughs> something along those lines. Actually, that's give me an idea. I'll tell you what, if anybody is interested and actually even watches these videos, then um, what I'll do is take ideas just like uh, TJOK is offered out. But I'm not going to give any suggestions. I, I've just got to be interested to see what people come up with as to what they want me to do on the next one. And I'll, I will happily do it, you know, just for, just for a giggle. Just for a laugh, you imagine it just coming to the door, knock knock. And uh, I'm stood here in a fancy dress costume, a bloody werewolf outfit or something stupid. And see uh, what the reaction to that is, that would be quite amusing. So yeah, um, that's my little update, nothing particularly special, but uh, as I say, just documenting every piece of literature or interaction I have with these filthy pigs. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there you go, guys. I'd love to know your thoughts, as always, and uh, I'll update you with another video as soon as there's any um, change. Hopefully, the next visit, oh, sorry, the next video I make will be uh, somebody at the door, because they're always the best ones to watch. So, catch up later, guys. Enjoy. Don't forget, don't pay these people.